Before using the next advanced pressure injection cell, it's important to go through the proper steps to set up the instrument for safe and effective operation. Pressure equipment is dangerous and should only be serviced by trained personnel. First, use thick-walled stainless steel tubing to connect the pressure injection cell to the pressure source. Slide the tubing through the inlet nut until it hits a stop. Finger tighten the nut and then tighten it with a wrench to make sure that it is secure. In the United States, eighth inch outside diameter tubing is standard and your pressure cell is already equipped with the proper fittings. If you're in a metric country and want to use three millimeter outside diameter tubing, use the three millimeter to eighth inch adapter to connect the tubing to the pressure cell inlet. Connect the other end of the tubing to a pressurized gas tank. If you want to connect the 8th inch tubing to a metric threaded pressure regulator, use the 4th ISO to 8th inch adapter. If you've purchased a pressure regulator from Next Advance, it comes equipped with a CGA 580 male fitting on the inlet and an 8th inch outside diameter steel tubing fitting on the outlet. For connecting the pressurized air tank, a CGA 580 fitting is typical for inert gases in the U.S. Outside of the U.S., you may need an adapter that can be purchased locally. Regional variations make your gas supplier the best source for acquiring the appropriate adapter. Before opening the base of the pressure injection cell, first make sure that the valves at the pressure source are turned off. Next, open the three-way valve on the pressure injection cell to release any pressure from inside of the instrument. Use the hex wrench to loosen the three bolts securing the top of the base. Rotate the top counterclockwise so that the hexagonal sides are even. Then lift off the top. Place a 0.5 to 2 milliliter tube or vial containing your sample liquid into the base of the pressure cell. If the tube has a hinged cap, you must cut off the cap before using it in the pressure injection cell. If you are using a 1 milliliter tube or smaller, Use the tube holder that comes with the instrument to keep it centered and protruding above the surface of the base. If you're using the PC77 MAG model pressure injection cell with the integrated stir plate, or if you're using the pressure cell on top of your own stir plate, place the stir bar into the liquid prior to replacing the top. Before replacing the top, confirm that the black O-ring is seated in its groove. Slip the top onto the base, rotate the top clockwise, then tighten the bolts using the hex wrench. To insert the capillary, loosen the nut covering the ferrule using a wrench. Slide the capillary through the small hole in the ferrule until it reaches the bottom of the sample tube. Pull up slightly to avoid blocking the capillary. Once the capillary is in place, tighten the nut. If you are using the integrated stir plate on the PC77 mag, make sure that it is plugged in before using. You're almost ready to go. This is important. Before applying pressure to the cell, make sure that the bolts are securely fastened and all connections are properly tightened. Wear protective eyewear. Always follow proper safety procedures and regulations when using a high pressure system. If you have any questions about setting up a pressure injection cell, please contact us at support at nextadvance.com.